Hi and welcome. My name is Ivo and I'm representing Sebra Technologies in Norway. Today we're going to talk about the COVID-19 drive through stations. During an infection outbreak, drive through testing centers are invaluable for healthcare facilities. They allow workers to collect specimen samples from patients at high volumes and can contribute to reducing infection rates and ending the outbreak. We already have established drive through test stations in Norway, but it could be more efficient, safer and faster. In establishing a drive through testing center, safety is a top priority to prevent infection rates from rising, and workflows must be optimized to enable positive patient identification and proper specimen collections, testing and reporting. The process end-to-end -end must go as smoothly as possible to reduce long waiting times. So let's compare some solutions. We have today a laptop-based electronic health record configurations. It uses the health system's legacy computer, is actually slower and requires more manual entry, usually on printed paper and with manual writing, reducing infection control, and requires internet connections. Looking at the mobile solutions, a turnkey configurations, it can be used under three minutes with no physical contact, no manual entry, and no need for internet connections. And also adding emergency treatment kit for patients in critical need can be used with any of the configurations above. So let's take a deeper look on the proposed workflow for these turnkey mobile configurations. A patient's lineup, ID is presented and scanned through the car window. It's limited manual entry, no physical contact when capture 2D barcode on the ID. Label for specimen swab is printed, peeled and applied to the swab tube. Label copy for patient is printed, given to the patient to take with them. Patient label includes QR code and a URL. Patient is swabbed. Swab is inserted into label swab tube and insert into clear baggie. Healthcare technician deposits baggie containing swab tube into secured courier box. Patients exits. Patients can now use the QR code on the label received to take additional steps to identify additional communication methods and to receive test results, additional instructions, and so on. Scanning identifications with 1D, 2D, or QR codes capture patient's data to eliminate physical contact and increase infection control. The data does not require manual key entry into devices further reducing physical contact of any potential condemned surfaces and this speed of the process. All scan data not only links to patients' identification to specimens, but also makes it easy to print specimen labels with the correct data, allowing for specimen tracking and improve diagnostic times. The results of false and accurate two points validations checks between collecting and securing samples and printing specimen labels. The proposed solutions for COVID-19 drive through specimen collection also have some requirements. It demands some hardware, it demands some software, and it demands some supply. And we can deliver a complete and mobile solutions, and all Sebra hardware devices are healthcare grade, designed to withstand continuous disinfections with cleaning solutions. So looking more into the, the components of these turnkey standalone mobile configurations. Our several healthcare devices are designed specifically for healthcare use cases. With advanced scanning technology, it's rapidly capture 1D and 2D barcodes. Mm -hmm. They are highly durable, mm -hmm. with drop ratings suited to cement hospital floors and full shift batteries, making them ideal for hectic environments of drive through testing centers. And of course, designed with healthcare plastic, which reduce the spread of infections. So let's take a look at a good example. It's important that drive through specimen collection operates smoothly while keeping clinicians and potential patients safe from infection. Electronic devices used to verify patient identification, such as mobile computers, tablets, or scanners, can quickly become contaminated with coronavirus. Your facility needs to enact a device cleaning and disinfection policy, regardless of where patients are evaluated. Follow the cleaning and disinfection instructions for all devices in use. Best practice typically involves three steps. Step one, clean the device with a pre-saturated wiper. Step two, dry with paper towel or clean cloth. Step three, disinfect with another pre-saturated wiper and let it air dry for at least 60 seconds. Do not use a towel to dry it. Devices should be cleaned and disinfected between each patient because you don't know who has the virus and who doesn't. 
Help clinicians on the front line stay healthy by reminding them to disinfect devices. And that's it. Thank you. Uh, and please reach out to me if you want any more information about our solutions.